For this episode and additional Southern California Prep Insider content, please visit our website at scprepinsider.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Southern California Prep Insider. Sarah Chapey here, as always, with Tommy Morris. That's right. We're here at J. Sarah Catholic High School. They're about to take on Santa Margarita. Big rivalry on the basketball court. So we got the caution tape around us. We got to keep it safe because it's going to be wild in here in the gym. Sarah, I may not be ready for it. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a huge Trinity League showdown. It's going to get crazy. We're excited for that. But before we get to all that action, I had the chance to hit the weight room with one of Santa Margarita's big seniors. So let's check it out. How much you bench? How much do I bench? Yeah. 500 pounds. Totally believable. Top Recruit is brought to you by Corky's Pest Control. I'm here joined by the guest of the hour, Jordan Guest, none other than senior power forward for the Santa Margarita Eagles. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us. First things first, you went through the recruitment process. You had plenty of offers, but you ultimately decided on Boston University. Tell me why that was uh, the right fit. Geez, um, I love Boston. I thought it was a great area when I visited. Um, I was really enthusiastic about the coaches and the environment there. Um, education was a big key factor. Um, I figured that, you know, getting my master's in four years there, which is a program they have, um, through summer school and through a lot of work doing classes is doable there. And I thought that that was something that I really, really could benefit on later. Tell me who helped you through the entire recruitment process. Uh, my head coach for my high school team, um, Coach Reinert, and my AAU coach, um, Coach Eric um, Glasner. And basically, they taught me through all the coaches and talked to multiple coaches on what they were trying to get out of me and to get the best player and to see what I would, the best fit, basically. What did the process teach you about yourself? The process taught me patience because as soon as I got my first offer, I was excited and I was like, oh, I'm going to want to visit this school. And as soon as I got my second offer, I was like, okay, it's getting better. Like, I want to go and check it out. And it really teaches you patience. And then you try to go higher and higher levels. Like, say you get like a, a lower level school offers you and then you're like, okay, how, what's the highest I can go? Where's my ceiling? So that's kind of what it taught me was to work harder. What do you have to do to end your last year playing high school basketball on a high note? Um, honestly, I want to be the best player and have the best team that I've ever had. And right now, this is the best team that I've ever played with in high school. Uh, I love the guys and I just want to really want to end on a happy note. So I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> Lastly, Jordan, what do the next five years look like for you? The next five years, geez. Um, after this year, it's just going to be going straight to college and basically starting a new chapter, becoming a freshman again, basically starting the whole process over and going to college. And I'm really excited. We can't wait to follow your journey. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. That'll do it for our Southern Section Top Recruit. Thank you very much. I am now joined by Christian Choice from Patrick Henry. He plays a little bit of everything. All you just really need to know is that this kid is part of the reason why Patrick Henry is now a, a, a superpower in basketball here in San Diego. Thank you very much for being on with us today. So let's get right to it. Senior season. You guys have been making some making some waves. What's that been like for you? Uh, it's been amazing for me, actually. I, I like playing with these younger guys, getting them ready, because I think our freshman class has a bright future. So it's been, it's been good, really, just leading them. Now, you personally, you, you, you made a change in high schools right in the middle that a lot of people can't handle. You moved all the way out here from Tennessee. So any differences between Cali ball and Tennessee ball? Oh, uh, well, in California, it's, it's way more like you got to you gotta train and stuff. You got to get the, the one-two down like we were taking mid-ranges. In Tennessee, it's kind of like you're just athletic and you just play. like It's, it's really just the best of the best. In, in California, you really got to like get smarter and like know the game. So get smarter, know the game has seemed to pay it off for you. You're part of a pretty dynamic offensive combo here. Explain to the people out there, though, that haven't seen you play, what's your sweet spot on the court? Where, where's your ideal zone? Uh, well, on the wings, really, I, I can get busy. I like getting get my work there. Uh, yeah. You're a transplant out here. Barbecue from the south or California burritos? That's a good question, but I, I got to go carne asada fries. I got to. Oh, there you go. Off to number C, carne asada fries. 
you can't go wrong with that. It might not necessarily be the best thing to help you stay in shape during season, so maybe you dial that back a little bit, but I, I, I'm with you on that. We might have to go split a plate after this. <laughs> so, you know, last thing is, going forward, what do you want the legacy to be of this senior class right now, Patrick Henry? Um, I, I really just want to leave with a, a CIF championship, honestly, and I, I, I think that can happen. I think we have the pieces to do that. All right, he's ring chasing. He's looking for some carne asada fries, and he's looking for a place to play next year. He's Christian Choice. Remember the name. Thank you very much for being on with us, man. That'll do it for our top recruit. Hi guys, I am here with Devonair Dutrieff from Birmingham High School. Devonair, you are a top recruit. How does it feel being called that, and are there any pressures that come with the recruiting process? No, there's no pressure. I still gotta be humble. Still gotta get out there and play. And last year you got the chance to play with your brother, who's now at Utah. How was it playing with your brother, and any plans to follow him? Uh, not for sure yet. He was a great leader on our team. He did a lot for us last year. Uh, he made everybody around the team like happy. So. And speaking of your college decision coming up, any schools in mind? Um, nothing particular. Uh, most, li most likely I want to be in the Pac-12, but any come in mind might, ch might change my decision. And now, back to your time here at Birmingham, what has been your best memory here? Best memory? Uh, the city title we won last year against Westchester. That was one, one of my great moments because we, we was the first team to ever win a city title for Birmingham. Can you tell us a little bit, describe to us what that was like winning that and also with your brother? Oh, it was fun. It was it was amazing. It was it was just fun. And especially with my brother, because he fouled out he fouled out like in the fourth quarter. And then we had a lot of time still to go left. And he was still teased on the bench cheering us, like telling everybody good job, using the game, using the moment. It was what are your goals for the rest of the season? My goals, uh, get bigger, stronger, faster, finish through school, uh, to make my decision. Any pregame rituals? How do you get ready for a big game? Any song you listen to? Any dance moves you got? Uh, songs, I listen to my, okay, I don't have a particular, particular song, but I listen to NBA Youngboy, Future, Drake, Migos, whatever's on my playlist. And what is your NBA inspiration, a player you model your game after? Uh, my model, uh, KD, Kevin Durant, that's what I think I play like, but my favorite player, LeBron James. And last question, any fun fact you want your fans to know, what do you do off the court? Off the court, uh, I like playing video games, that's it. <laughs> and. You should know I'm from, I'm from Alaska. That's it. Well, and then also another last question here. It wasn't your last question. You did move here from Alaska two years ago. Can you just say a couple things about your transition? Uh, my school got shut down in Alaska, so I had to see like where where's my next move. And I saw my brother. He was in California. It's a state full of basketball, like just basketball. So I was like, that's that's a good decision. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Devin Air, and good luck the rest of your season. Back to you guys. Sarah, top recruits are great, but I got a little soft spot for the watchers because there's a lot of kids who don't get mentioned enough who definitely deserve to be brought up in the conversation. I feel like that would have been me in high school because I played soccer all throughout high school and I was actually the leading scorer on my team. Sure you were. I really was. Of course she was, Sarah. <laughs> definitely, definitely was. Nobody checked that. Uh, let's go to the watch list and see some kids who definitely deserve to be mentioned. Bernie Trow from Rancho Buena Vista. This wrestler is hands down the guy to beat here in San Diego and will be representing our county at the state finals this year. Mia Chinovi is a senior utility water polo player for Beckman. She's played all four years of high school and is acknowledged for her ability to attack inside, hold her position, and control the ball. She's looking at schools such as Chapman, San Diego State, and LMU. Jordan Griffin from Narbonne High School. Griffin plays basketball at Narbonne. This week, the guard scored a team-high 22 points in a win against Banning. With Griffin as one of the team's leaders, the Gauchos are undefeated in the Marine League and are headed to the Open Division playoffs in the Los Angeles City Center. Just keep working, you know, work hard. Um, you know, just work on your craft and uh, just try to be a... Uh you know, around basketball as much as you can. Um, you know, try to be a student of the game, really. Uh, that's what it's really about. Um, a lot of guys uh, think, you know, it's just going out there and just playing, which 
that has something to do with it, you know, playing basketball a lot can definitely help you in your game, but you got to be a student of the game to actually, you know, get into this type of league because, you know, a lot of this stuff is analytics. You got to know what this guy does well, how he do it, um, what he likes to go to, you know, so a lot of studying in it as well. And when you were being recruited, you know, looking at colleges, what kind of stuff did you look at? What advice do you give to kids who are being recruited right now by, by major college? I mean, just, you know, try to go to a school that fits your style. I mean, uh, that's why I was mostly looking for my recruiting. I'm, I know I'm a guy that likes to get up and down, push the pace, um, you know, play on the break, uh, just, you know, pushing the pace all the time. And I felt like Louisville was a great spot for me because we pressed all game and we got at the people and we got up and down the floor. You know, that was my type of play, and I felt like I definitely excelled in that, and that's why I just looked for it. How would you say you've changed the most as a player going from high school all the way to now? And how much you change off the court, that kind of stuff? How are you a different person now? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a different person now because, you know, I have a lot of responsibilities. You know, um, it's always eyes watching you when you get to this level. You always got, you know, different things that around you that can also hurt you. So you got to watch what you do. All the little things matter. Hey, Carly, so what do we need for practice today? All you really need is a suit, a cap, and goggles. <laughs> and your pride. And your pride. <laughs> The sum above difference is options. Go ahead and take a moment to feast your eyes on our fresh grilled chicken cheese steaks. Okay, time's up. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. No one knows where it comes from. Why some have it and some don't. It's the fighting spirit. It consumes fear and weakness. It stands ready to fight whatever shape the battle takes. Because as long as there are battles, there will always be Marines. The sub above difference is grilled. Because if you're making a cheesesteak and you're not using a hot grill to make it, well, you're not making a cheesesteak. Give our grill a go. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Wormhole Wars is a fast-paced sci-fi multiplayer shooter that combines the strategic elements of portals with the explosive gameplay of a first-person shooter. Built in Unreal Engine 4 and powered through Steam, you can play with friends online or versus the AI. It supports up to 10 players and is revolutionizing the FPS genre with the unique movement and flanking abilities that a player can pull off through portals. Wormhole Wars, coming soon. Welcome back to Southern California Prep Insider. It's now time where we dive deep and get to know a little bit more about a student athlete. That's right, here's a young man from Cameroon who's traveled all the way to America and found his home on the basketball court. And here's his story. Building Character is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Sometimes you just get lucky. Actually, it was a forwarded email from our uh, international, like we have an international studies program. It's not me, because my sister, was, she was looking for school for me and she just sent email to different coaches and Coach Nick was the first to respond to email. Out of nowhere, Birmingham basketball coach Nick Halleck was getting a new player, Christian Coloco, a seven-footer who moved to Los Angeles last August. I come from Cameroon in Africa. Um, I moved here because my sister was there and she wanted me to come stay with her. The big man has only played in a handful of games because he had to sit out until January due to his transfer. While Coloco is inexperienced, his potential is clear. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, I mean, he's still learning. So like every day he's getting better and better. Um, he's only played, you know, the few games he's played in. Every game he's gotten much better and more aggressive. Um, he's very versatile. Uh, he's got good touch, he's great feet, I think because he's played soccer before, he has great footwork. Um, but he has a high ceiling, he's going to be very good one day. In addition to learning basketball, Coloco has also had to learn English, which has been a little tougher. No, it's not, it's not very easy because my first week here, yeah, it was very difficult because I wasn't used to, it was like, I was in class, it was like, what, what, uh, what is the, um, what did he talk about? I was like, lose, but... I'm still getting used to it, but during class, sometimes I have to figure out how to translate in my first language to understand the, the classes, but it's very difficult, but it's okay. In Cameroon, Coloco spoke French. Coach Halleck agrees that Coloco's transition has been hard, 
But he says the seven footer has handled it extremely well. So English is, is difficult for him to learn, but it's not impossible because he's learned other languages before. Um, he's very focused on school. Um, and as far as fitting in with the kids, you know, when you're good, you're good. So he's a good player. If that, that part wasn't too hard. Um, with him, uh, I, I kind of was pretty easy on him in the beginning, and I've gotten tougher on him towards the end. But he's, uh, he's ha I think he's taken it extremely well, the adjustment. Looking to the future, Coloco is only a junior. He'll have another year to work to accomplish one of his main goals. Play basketball, my first, the, first, the first dream is to play college basketball. And one day, why not to be a professional basketball player? And yeah, that's a game, yeah. While it won't come easy, Coach Halleck gives Coloco a chance. He's going to be able to play in college. He's gotten visits and, you know, different colleges are, are interested in him. Uh, I think for him, though, you know, again, education is extremely important. And so that's going to play a factor as well, not just the basketball decision. But, yeah, he definitely can play in college. He's got the intangibles. He's, he's, he's seven feet tall. Um, he's, he's, he's athletic. He's very fast and he's athletic. He's agile. And I, I think so with that, with those, with those, you can't really predict. There's no glass ball, uh, crystal ball or anything like that. But if he works really hard and he's successful at the next level, then we'll see, right? I mean, but uh, he's got obviously some potential. If he's as big as he is and as mobile as he is, then he's got a chance. Sarah, we now all know about your athletic prowess, but how about your SAT score? 100%. What else would you expect from me? Same thing. Totally got a 100. Here are some kids who probably actually did get 100% on our honor roll. Let's see who's on it. Honor roll is brought to you by Lolita's Mexican Food. Amanda Gilchrist from Mount Carmel. The junior Lady Sun Devil goalkeeper is a standout both in the pool and the classroom. Look for her to be a huge part of their team building for a championship next year. Kobe Rico is a point guard for Sure High School. The four-year varsity starter also has a 3.87 GPA and will attend Harvey Mudd College next year where she plans on majoring in engineering. The senior is also involved in the STEM Club, National Honor Society, CSF, and also volunteers at the Pasadena Humane Society. Ethan Kiambayo from Van Nuys High School. Kiambayo plays guard for Van Nuys and also excels in the classroom. He is one of the top GPAs on his team. Last season, Van Nuys won the Division III title in the Los Angeles City section. This year, the team will try to go back to back, but in Division II. All right, Tommy, it's time for one of my favorite parts of the episode, because not only do we get to go back to the past, but we also get to go to the future, all in the same segment. That's right, it is our blast from the past. We take a look at one of Southern California's past high school stars who's now excelling in college. Let's take a look at who we have this episode. Hi, my name is Britton. I'm a senior on the Iona College women's water polo team. I'm from Santa Barbara, California, and I went to Dos Pueblos High School. So today is Wednesday, and that means we have two practices today. We're going to start our day by meeting up with some of the other freshmen who are also from California before we head off to class. Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning. How's it going, guys? Good. Kate. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm from Santa Ana, California. I went to Monterey High School. I, it's a small campus and it's truly community and I really love that everybody knows each other and it's fun to have seasons but occasionally I do miss the like, California sunshine. Oh heck yeah. Okay, so this is our first stop. This is right after practice. Um, I changed super quick and now I'm at the Iona College Speech and Hearing Clinic. I'm an undergraduate speech pathology major and three of my other teammates are as well. I have a client this semester so I'll be giving them therapy today. I just see it once a week and so we have a little bit of a break before our next practice this evening so this is where I'll be. Our field where all the soccer and lacrosse girls kick butt. This is our athletic center. We're gonna head in and see if we can find most people call me Danny. Um, I'm from Commerce, California. I went to Rosary High School in Fullerton. Um, I really like Iona because they have a Starbucks two seconds away from everything. Heck yeah. I don't know what I want yet. <laughs> There's your cameo. Hey Carter, nice to see you. Oh, 
California. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aubrey. I'm from Yorvalinda, California. I went to Valencia High School and I absolutely love Iona. From the second I walked onto this campus, I knew it was for me. Everyone was so inviting and everyone just like, just boosted my mood. Hey Carly, so what do we need for practice today? All you really need is a suit, a cap, and goggles. <laughs> and your pride. And your pride. <laughs> And your dignity. You'll lose it by the end. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Free go girls. One, two, three. Go girls! The sub above difference is love. Bread that loves the juice. Juice that loves the bread. Ah, yes. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Uh, Tom, Tom, we gotta, we gotta take, a, we gotta pause for a second. I have had this song stuck in my head all day long. What is it? Well, it goes a little something like this. Call one eight hundred nine zero one 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 zero two Corkies. Call one eight hundred nine zero one 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 zero two Corkies. Perfect. Yeah! Call and get your instant quote today. Call one eight hundred nine zero one 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 zero two Corkies. The sub above difference is daily, not shredded last night or baked yesterday afternoon. Good ingredients prepped fresh every day because that's what daily means. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Sarah, I love the show, but what happens if I miss it? No worries, Tommy, we have got you covered. If you're in that position, you wanna watch any of the segments from this episode, you can do so right here scpreppinsider.com, that's our website, and that's where you can find tons of exclusive content as well. That's right, we've got the podcast, the highlights, and some extra interviews, but wait, what if I'm like a social media guy? What do I do? Don't worry, we've got you covered on those okay, bases good. as well. At SC Prep Insider is our social media name. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. That's where we have tons of other web exclusive content that you can only see there. And that's also your chance to get on the show because you can send in your top plays to those social media channels. Most retweets win. Let's take a look at last episode's winner and this episode's nominees. Next with the clock winding down, it's DeAndre Allison for O'Farrell hitting this deep three all the way from Toronto. DeAndre Allison with the buzzer beater. We start with this incredible play from Bishop Montgomery. It's Fletcher Tynan with the perfect season on the line. The deep three down by two, and it is good. Season still alive, undefeated, and perfect for Bishop Montgomery thanks to Fletcher Tynan. Next, it's Kihai Clark. We should probably change his name to Kihai Clark Kent. Superman flying through the defense for the lay-in, but hold on, we just saw him for top recruit. His name is Devonair Dotrieff, and if that one's worth two, well, this is worth one more. Dotrieff, four, three, with a step back, wet. A star is born at Capo Valley Christian. It's Fettis Andumania with the slam. And that is this episode's top plays. All right, Sarah, it is time. Game day, J. Sarah, Santa Margarita. Here we go. As we mentioned, this is a heated rivalry showdown, Trinity League matchup. I can already tell it's gonna be nuts because both student sections are completely packed. The energy in here is incredible. This game is not gonna disappoint. You know what? I'm just gonna watch the game. I'm sorry, I really wanna watch it. Two amazing teams. You can just take over game day. You're cool with that? I'm just gonna sit and watch. I can handle it on my own. I know. All right, you guys come with me then, let's go. Game Day is brought to you by Jersey Mike's.
have found the Jersey Mike's fan of the game, Dante. He's 22. He's a J. Sarah alum. Dante, what brings you out here tonight? Uh, my sister Shay is on the cheer team, so you know, big game, big rivalry game. I decided to come out and support her, watch the team. He was getting crazy over here. You're definitely hyping up the fans. It's awesome. Talk to me about the rivalry. You went here, so you know all about it. Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, there's a lot of things, a lot of teams around here, but there's nothing like this rivalry between uh, Joseph and myself. Honestly, I don't even know why it is so big, but for some reason, something about, you know, these two, these two schools that just gets people going and uh, everybody goes you know, crazy for these games. All right, Tommy, I don't know about you, but in my opinion, that certainly lived up to the hype. It was crazy out there. Hey, from watching the stands, I completely agree, but it's time for us to go. So for Sarah Chafin, Katie Austin, Christian Pedersen, I am Tommy Morse. We'll see you next time.